Welcome to Deanna Reads. My name is Deanna and I read. Alright, so the book I'm going to review for you today is called Royal Blood by Rise Bowen. Get that glare off there. There. So this is the, the fifth book. No? Fourth book in her Royal Spinus mystery series. This is such a fun little series. I guess I forgot to start by reading the summary. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll read the summary. 34th in line to the throne and England's poorest heiress, Lady Georgiana Ronach, finds herself in a truly draining state of affairs. With my hateful brother, Binky, in town, I've been desperately seeking an escape. To my delight, it comes in the form of an invitation from the Queen to represent the royals at a wedding in Transylvania, legendary home to the vampires. My freedom comes with some snags, though. The eminently boring Lady Horseface Middlesex will be my chaperone. I'm to take my imaginary maid, the only one I can afford, and my erstwhile beau, Darcy O'Mara, will be present, undoubtedly dashing in his groomsman's suit. I soon realized why I was the one honored with such an invitation. The bride, Princess Maria Teresa, happens to be my old school chum, Maddie, but I find my stay in her macabre-looking castle to be unnerving. There are spooky bumps in the night, and I even find dear Maddie with blood running down her chin. Quality time with Binky is starting to seem appealing. Then, during the preparations, a prominent, if vulgar, and womanizing wedding guest is poisoned. Something must be done, lest the nuptial festivities go to ruin, or... They put tape over this part. I don't like that. Or worse ever. There we go, I read it. <laughs> the couple's vows become to love and to cherish till undeath do us part. Georgie is, as they said, like, um... 34th in line of the front, but she doesn't have a penny to her name. Her brother is the is the Lord Lord Rana uh, to the family estate, so he has he's gotten whatever money is left from their dad, which like, their dad died like, leaving them in debt. I think his wife is a penny pincher and she and Georgie just do not get along at all and she constantly makes Georgie feel like she's sponging off of them. So Georgie's been trying to find her own way in the world and she's just such a fun little detective and this is set in the, I don't know the time period, it's after World War I and before World War II. <laughs> I've not really read a lot of books during that time period so it's really really fun and interesting to to see the lifestyle then and imagine their clothes and stuff and also all the British the cute British slang and stuff that they use she has a grandfather who's cockney so there's a lot of cockney slang when she goes and visits him I, I don't think I reviewed the others of the series but I would definitely recommend this series the first in the series is her royal spiness so I would definitely go pick that up at the library if this book sounds interesting to you, if you're into mysteries and that time period. It's definitely a book that I would pick up if you're wanting something fast and fun. I think I would want to own this series. I would probably buy it. I just, it's just how fun it is. Thanks for watching. Keep reading.